Hello, welcome to Musher's Tales. So not too buggy in the yard here. Uh, I have a few trees to plant, so I think I'm gonna uh, go up in the woodlot and uh, fill a few holes with some uh, civiculture trees. Come along for the ride. I'm a firm believer in planting trees. Uh, whenever I cut an area, I like to plant a few trees in it. Uh, however, I'm not a, one of these guys who cuts a large area and then you plant the same kind of tree. Okay, I really believe in a mixed forest. Uh, when you have a tree plantation and every tree is homogeneous, you don't have anything living there. Uh, maybe rabbits and squirrels there, but uh, that's about it. Uh, you need diversity if you're going to have food. So uh, I planted where I have a hole, I plant a few trees, and I move on. We're going to do a little tree planting today. I have uh, 25 trees. I want to put in a couple of holes here and there on the woodlot. So these are uh, commercial trees. They come in groups of 25. Uh, these are spruce, some kind of hybrid for the, uh, for the forestry companies. And uh, as you can see, they're a nice little cone. Easy to plant. Have my tree planting shovel. Not the, uh, not the first time I plant trees. I've done it a few times. Well, <laughs> more than a few times. But uh, yeah, a, uh, a good tree planter, uh, somebody who move, moves a bit and doesn't stop at all. Uh, usually they're, usually it's women actually who make the best tree planters. They uh, put in a couple of thousand in a, in a day. You know, I can't stop too much and uh, you use a lot of muscles at the end of the day and definitely you're, you're sore and tired, but uh, yeah, a couple of thousand a day is not, uh, not exceptional, even though it's pretty good. And uh, my son and I, uh, and son-in-law, we put in uh, 350 in 45 minutes uh, last week. So those are some of those leftover trees. So I'm just gonna show you how you do it, see if you find it interesting. I have no idea where that uh, film is on the water. I don't know if it's a pollen or if it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But I uh, can't say I like it, but maybe it's nothing harmful. I don't think I'll send the dogs in to swim though. I thought, uh, from the yard, from in my yard, it wasn't too buggy. Now that I'm in the woods, uh, it's buggy. So, uh, good thing I had a buff in the car. So right here I have a hole where I cut down a tree over here. So I'm gonna plant a few in the light wells. Not a whole lot to it, not too much to it. Find a soft spot. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Slide the cone down. And a little stomp of the feet. And you got one done. You have to, uh, Generally, you have to put them about six feet apart. There'll be more here because I'm just plugging in a hole. There's a second, and I want to get a third by my stump. A lot of rocks here, but the stump will provide food. Here we go. The problem with my woodlot is it's 
it's always the rocks, the rocks, the rocks. And a third. Often I cut my stumps like this. Makes the kids laugh. They say it's a seat or a toilet. So, third there, and that tree will feed off the decay of this tree here. A few more trees here to cut, that's for sure. There's a fox hanging around. So a fox running up and down the road. So I believe these are three-year-old trees. They're uh, nice and healthy. Uh, not too dry, you gotta keep them wet. And uh, they go in well. Back in the yard, uh, got done what I wanted to get done. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till the next time.